Hello and welcome to another Wow Pow video review. Today we'll be reviewing the Sony VAIO Z90US. The VAIO Z90US is Sony's first portable notebook with built-in Blu-ray slash DVD R drive. It is also Sony's first offering with a Centrino 2 CPU. The Z90 is available in a variety of configurations through resellers like Conix.net. The VAIO Z's most noteworthy configuration is that with two 64GB SSD drives configured as a RAID. However, the RAID system does not allow you to also have the Blu-ray drive. The VAIO Z90 review today features a 320GB 7200RPM hard disk, 4GB of DDR3 1066MHz SODIM RAM, 2.8GHz Centrino 2 CPU, a 13.1 inch 1600x900 LED backlit LCD, as well as NVIDIA's graphics crunching GeForce 9300M with 256MB of RAM. It comes with 802.11 ABGN Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 2.0. The computer measures 210 millimeters wide by 314 millimeters long by 24.5 to 33 millimeters high. This mobile media powerhouse only weighs 1.39 kilograms. Next, let's take a look at what comes with this computer. First up are the manuals and warranty. It only comes with a one-year warranty or an optional three-year warranty. The manuals are only in Japanese, but English manuals may be available for download when this model is released in the U.S. next month. The computer comes standard with Vista Home Premium. Next up is the AC power supply. The 19.5 volt AC adapter is good from 100 to 240 volts, so you can use it anywhere in the world. It also comes with Sony's standard jack. It comes standard with a U.S. plug-shaped cable. Your vendor should have adapters if needed. Next up is the battery. The 5,400 milliamp batteries rated from 7 to 11 hours. However, our real-time usage was about 4 to 5. And finally, the computer itself. Let's take a closer look. First up is the AC adapter port. Next to that is the gigabit LAN port. You have to remove a flap to get to it. Next to that are some cooling vents. To the right of the cooling vent, we have an express card 34 slot. Next to that we have our Kensington lock hole, then we have the 56K modem. Next to the modem we have our USB 2.0 port, then we have our Firewire port. Next to that we have our mic in jack, then we have our headphones out jack. Looking to the front of the computer, first up is our indicator lights. We have our battery charging light, our hard disk activity light, and then our memory stick card light. The Z comes with a SD card slot as well as a memory stick duo slot. Next up is the wireless switch. This turns off both the Bluetooth 2.0 as well as the 802.11b Wi-Fi. Next to that is the built-in microphone hole. Looking to the right side of our computer, we have our combination Blu-ray slash DVD-RW slash CD drive. You can see one of two eject buttons. Next, we have our HDMI port. It can handle a full 1080p. Next to that, we have our USB 2.0 port, our 15-pin RGB out port, and our power button. Looking to the bottom of the computer, first up is the RAM access panel. Removing the panel, you can see that the Z comes with dual stacked slots. Sony uses DDR3 RAM. Sony claims a maximum of 4 gigabytes. 8 gigabytes of RAM has not been tested. The RAM is clocked at 1066 megahertz. To the right of the RAM access panel is the optional port replicator slot. Below that are the battery release buttons. There is also a large battery available that is rated from 11 to 17 hours. Opening computer we have our slider switch which slides from speed for performance and stamina for long life. We have our programmable S switches which we can program to open up applications. Moving to the front, we have our optional fingerprint reader built into the mouse. Above the mouse, and not clear in the video, are the indicator lights for num lock, scroll lock, and shift lock. Above that, we have our integrated eject button for the Blu-ray drive. Moving to the top of the computer, we have our 0.3 megapixel built-in web camera. The VAIO Z had a Windows experience rating of 4.4. The processor was rated at 5.6. The memory was rated at 5.9. The graphics were rated at 4.4. .4. 
The gaming graphics were rated at 5.1 and the hard disk was rated at 5.6. Taking a look at the system screen, you can see that it comes with 4 gigabytes of RAM and is recognized by the 32-bit operating system. With the powerful NVIDIA graphics card, using Vista's Arrow was a piece of cake. Next up is Sony's exceptional web camera. While it's only got 0.3 megapixels, the camera produces bright, clear images and has excellent colors and contrast. Just below the web camera is Sony's net utility for choosing your network devices. Next, let's take a look at Sony's Insight H2O BIOS. You hit the F2 key to enter the BIOS, and then the BIOS utility will come up in English. Taking a closer look at the BIOS screen, you can see that it's a relatively simple BIOS. It comes with all the standard BIOS screens, like security for turning on your power on password or TPM status, as well as your boot menu, and finally exit. Now let's take a look at the video performance of the Z90. The following is a DVD video. As you can see, the playback is excellent and smooth. We can open and close the screen and there is no stutter or stopping whatsoever. What really impressed us was the way we could change chapters and the video would change immediately with no stutter or stopping. Next, let's take a look at full high definition 1080p playback. As you can see, the video starts up immediately. There's no stutter or stopping and the video plays smoothly. Next, we are going to run two videos at the same time. We're running a high definition video on one screen and a DVD video on the next. As you can see, the Z has no problem playing either at the same time. There's no stutter or stopping between either video. Let's see what the CPU performance is while playing two high definition videos at once. As you can see, the CPU is barely taxed. It's running between 20 and 30%. With excellent video performance, let's see how the Z90 does with dual monitors. We are running full high definition 1080p video on the monitor on the right, as well as playing a DVD on the Sony Z itself. As you can see, there are no stutters or stops. Everything plays smoothly. So far, none of our tests have been able to trip up the Sony Z, so we decided to transfer the high definition video from one screen to the other. As you can see, the video never stopped or stuttered, and it smoothly transferred from one screen back to the other. With its excellent NVIDIA graphics card and high Vista experience score, this has got to be one of the most powerful computers we have ever tested, let alone a laptop. The new Centrino 2 CPU is the best performing CPU we have ever seen on a laptop. It matches that of the highest end desktop computers. We love the performance. Who needs a desktop with a notebook like this? At only 3.6 pounds, the Z90 should handle graphic intensive games like Far Cry 2 without batting an eye. However, we did have some issues with the Z. First off was the battery life. Sony advertises the battery life as 7 to 11 hours, but we average between 4 and 5 with our high performance usage. The other was price. This computer is not cheap at almost $4,000 in its top configuration. Thank you for watching.